Hi, my name is Dara. I'm a technical support engineer here at Simply Nook, and today we're going to show you how to install SSDs into your P360 Ultra. So before we begin, we want to make sure that you're ESD safe. And for this, you actually don't need any tools. You just have to have your SSDs on your P360 Ultra. So now I'll turn the unit around facing this way. And as you can see here, there's a little button that you can press in and a latch that you can pull on. So you pull that and the entire inside of the unit comes free like this. And you just place that to the side. And there we have the inside of our P360 Ultra. So it's this side that we want to be working on as here is the heat sink for the SSDs and the fan. And all you have to do is push on this clip here, just like that, push it in, and then you can lift up the heat sink assembly like this. And you can actually wiggle this out and remove it. it makes it very handy. You could also remove this little connector for the fan here, and I'll do that now just to show you. And you can leave that to the side. It makes it really easy to install the SSDs. So here I've already pulled up these little plastic clips as there are no screws or standoffs on these. There's just these little plastic clips that hold in the SSDs. And before you install the SSDs, make sure you remove this plastic film that's covering the uh, thermal pads. This is a very slippery material. There we go. And you wanna make sure you do the same on the, the heat sink here. So I'll pull off these two, and now you have the thermal pads exposed. There we go. So I'll take our first SSD, just plug it in to this M.2 slot here, add a bit of an angle, about that much of an angle, and then all I have to do is take the next SSD, plug it into the other M.2 slot like that, and push this down, and this little plastic clip, well I wouldn't really call it a clip, but it's more like a rod that you just push into this hole push all the way down until it clicks and that stays firmly in place there. You do the same with this one, push down the SSD, put that little rod into the hole and push down until it clicks just like that. Now you have your SSDs installed, all you have to do is put your heatsink back on top. So I'll connect the fan connector here first, over here. That's that in and then these two little clips kind of slot into the hole here and I'll show it this way. This just tilts down, you push it in until it clicks, just like that. So now you've got everything installed, you want to lift up your unit and read that it says top on the top of the unit. Grab your chassis on the side here, push it in just like that so you line up these rails and then just slide it in until it clicks. That's all there is to it. Thank you very much.